back, everyone. We've been talking about this, how excited we are for the premiere of Paris Wine and Romance this Saturday night. And Lucky Ken got a sneak peek of this film. Ken, you got to tell us about the film yes. and how it inspired you to make this great next DIY. Well, there are certain things I love. I love Paris, I love wine, I love romance, I love gin lily. And so they all come <laughs> together in this movie. It, it's great because, you know, we have our week in place in wine country. Yes. She um, is in the Willamette Valley in Oregon. She inherits her father's winery. She wants to blow it up and make it an international success. She goes to the Grand Prix de Le Monde wine competition well, in well, Paris. Said good accent. Oh, I thank you. Um, she loses her luggage, of course. Oh, Someone boy. delivers it to her. She oh, the bellhop, she thanks him with a bottle of wine. It is uh, Jeanette's character. He is the premier winemaker and gold medal winner. She doesn't realize she insults him. Oh, but does boy get girl? Does well, boy have, lose girl? Does boy in. get girl you back? You have to tune in to find out all the great details. May for we? Sure. May we? I know it's a great movie, great cast, set in right. Paris. You can't go wrong. Uh, now, listen. Th so this DIY starts with a cabinet. Now, right. Now this cabinet in particular was actually in our breakfast nook prior to the renovation. Yes, you and, and I have had many happy times in front of us. I think we have a photo. This um, is true. This was us doing the um, one segment, two lips, three ways in front of our sideboard. That's the sideboard's exactly right. Been there for years, but with the with the, with the the spring reno, it got kicked to the curb, I literally. I how confused I looked in that photo. <laughs> two lips, stapler, what do I do? So I felt bad, it was there. I watched the movie and I'm like, let's repurpose right. it into it. So Beautiful. you at home haven't seen the inside. We actually used it for storage. We have a shot of the inside of the okay. cupboard. It has one shelf right there in the middle, very utilitarian. We keep all of our linens and all that. So I wanted to take advantage of that inside space. Okay, it so that's the inside space exactly. that we're going to use. But before we get to that, uh, we need to actually make the rack that the wine exactly. is sitting on. This is very easy. This is a really great sort of first time woodworking project. All Good. you're going to need is a shelf, the, the width of your inside. Okay. This is a one by eight, 10, 12. They can cut this for you at the Got hardware it. store. And this is one by three wood cut to that same width. Again, they can cut this for you at the hardware store. Now, what you're going to do is you need to make your little scallops to hold the bottles. So what I'm going to do here is I just have something that's about an inch and a half in diameter. I happen to have a shot glass with me. Yep. Um, I so measured the middle of the board, and all I'm going to do is with a pen, mark a little mark right around halfway around that. Got it. That's going to give me my first sort of indentation. Then measure halfway between your halfway point and do another one. And then again, halfway, halfway, and halfway, halfway. Very good. Now, if you want to get fancy, what I did then was go back through with that same glass and curve and smooth the out edges. the curve, exactly. right? Exactly. So it's very simple. You're going to get a nice pattern that way. If you remember math class, I believe that's a parabola. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just just in case, I'm sure that plays in really he well. He used to be this. an engineer, so I'm well, going to take true. that. I'm going to take true. that. I'm an architect, and I totally forgot. Just don't Google it. Don't Google it, folks at home. Don't Google it. So then, what you're going to do is once you have those points, line it up, and you're going to just get a good old deli cup and go back through and draw a bigger piece that lines up with each of you. What and a this great is going idea to, be... to use everyday household items. Exactly. Ken. Very, yeah. very simple. Excellent. Once you've got your sort of small neck holes and your wide ones. Right. So this is for the body. This is for the sort of the base of the exactly. wine. This is for the neck of the wine. You want to do okay. two of these for each shelf, one back one very and good. one front one. Then this is the only thing you have to do at home. It's very simple. Just for the jigsaw, you're going to make a very simple cut. This is something that anyone, even my mom, who's 89, can do. Boom. And you make it out. Simple cut like After that. After you set that up, if you had messed that up, I would have so much <laughs> pleasure in that. I would have absolutely My 89 year old mother would have been and like, then if you had I could do a better job. It. Okay, so let's just swap I'm out. I'm gonna give you that. So We're you wanna cut all those forward. out with your, uh, with your jigsaw. Go ahead and paint your pieces. I painted them to match the cupboard. If you can't find that color, do like a contrasting color or like a simple white. And then what you're gonna do is simply, with a few screws, attach that to the side. So the, the one with the narrow neck, what I did was I put that right at the front edge. Because um, that's going to sort of, the back one you can put about three inch, two inches down. And three screws will do it, because it's really not really holding a lot of weight. You just need to have it to. 
That's right. There's not a lot of lateral force here. Exactly. It's just sitting straight down. Lateral. Okay. So. Lateral force. Well, total I'm pulling engineer, out all engineer my head. engineering terms. Oh, my gosh. I must. Uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> all right. So let's move over to the cabinet itself. Let's open these fine so doors. So what I did was I just took off the cabinet doors. They're just okay. simple hinges. I'll set these right over here. Very good. And now, if you remember, we just had the one shelf in the middle. Yes. So what I've done here is I've added brackets. Got it. I basically just split the difference. Very and good. And all I'm going to do is pop these little one by twos in the middle every place I want a shelf. Here we go. And really, Excellent. when you get it home, sort of measure your space and add shelves as you see fit. It's really that simple. I mean, here it is. here's the thing is that you're, you're taking this uh, cabinet, which is being unused, slide straight in, and then I put it backwards there for you. I think you got to flip it around the oh, other way. There we go. Uh, that was my bad. Um, but the other thing I noticed is that the uh, the rear, the, uh, the base of the wine bottle is a little bit higher than the front, than the neck. It goes a little deeper. And what's the case? Exactly. So I want to show you. So also just folks at home, what we did here on the bottom is I added another one right to the bottom. That can just go on with hot glue. Okay. Because what you really want is you want the back end of the bottle to be up higher than the front end. And the reason is you want to make sure your cork always stays moist. If you do it the other way around or if they're sitting up like this, yeah. that cork can dry out and that's when you get corkage and the bottle of wine now gets this, ruined. Now this span here isn't very wide, but could it, if you if you had a larger cabinet, right, and you needed to have a lot, would you have to have a support in the middle? Yeah, so this is about three feet. Three feet, all you're gonna need is the support on either end. If you have anything longer, that four foot, five foot or super long one, Put another little bracket in the middle, and what that will do is keep any sagging so once you get it sort of like filled with wine. Okay. And like we did this with this cupboard, but you could do this with an old dresser, just pull out the drawers, do the exact same thing. An old TV cabinet, you can really do it with so good. any piece of furniture you have. And then before you put these two little facers on to cover where the, uh, the hinges were, I want to ask, could you actually do it so that the doors uh, go back on if you wanted to keep the doors so on? So as long, you want to make sure, here you go, you want to pop yeah, that right there? You want to make sure that your cabinet is deep enough to hold a bottle of wine. If it is and you're going to be in a sunny area, better to keep the doors on because that will protect your wine. If it's not deep enough, then go ahead and take it off. And as you can see, all I did was add a little piece of trim here, color to the same, to hide where the hinges hide, was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Holds 28 right. bottles of wine, Ken, we're set. Look what I just made. <laughs> look what I just he made. He made ravioli, look make this. I just made. Make You're sure busy you watch, today. Make sure you watch Paris Wine and Romance this Saturday night at 9, 8 really Central, sweet. right here on Hallmark Channel.